Unity's made some strong investments, particularly into cell technology in the past few years, um, with both P Mono Perk and Heterojunction. What's been the driver for this, and is Unity going to continue to invest in these technologies? Yes, uh, for sure. The uh, solar industry is uh, uh, ser is serving the uh, world with the energy transition from uh, you know the traditional types of uh, uh, energy to renewables, and uh, so the strong driver is the conversion efficiency and cost, and that really requires a lot of uh, te technology innovation, and that. Uh, obviously requires uh, investments and so uh, uh, we uh, we have been uh, continuously in, uh, investing in uh, the cutting-edge technologies including uh, early on uh, in the perk technology now uh, with heterojunction. How is Genergy's view on investment maybe different to some of the other companies? What's your main strategic view? Where, where do you want to see that investment continue? I think uh, you know you, you you need to be uh, uh, very careful in uh, committing uh, investments because uh, you know the, the 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 company would have to make uh, uh, profits uh, in order to sustain the business, and so uh, the investment decision obviously is impacting how the business is going to be successful uh, down the road. And uh, with that, you have to uh, balance the short-term uh, needs and future needs. And so, uh, so uh, the investment, uh, the majority of the investment is obviously going into the mainstream technology and with a production uh, capacity and volume that, that is demanded uh, by the market, but uh, also, uh, the company is investing heavily into R&D for the future generations of uh, technologies and heterojunction is obviously one of them. So more specifically on heterojunction then, I mean, what sort of production levels and efficiencies are you targeting in 2019? What sort of output are you looking for? So 2019 we see is a, um, a critical uh, year for proving uh, the heterojunction viability for commercial big scale uh, 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 production. However, I do not see that the large scale investment is going to happen in 2019, and yet it's still focused on technology development and to commercialize or uh, to uh, uh, ma materialize the improvements that we have been uh, obtaining in the past uh, a year and a half and to uh, push the technology to a higher level. And so the answer that we're looking for by the end of the year is whether heterojunction is ready for gigawatt level of uh, mass production. And so the criteria uh, we see are in the uh, performance, that is conversion efficiency, that we see that uh, the uh, uh, minimum level would be around 24.5 or above. And then two is the uh, uh, capex and opex numbers going to, uh, to be adequate uh, for competition with the legacy PERC uh, technology. And in terms of your production capacity at the end of 2019 in heterojunction, we're that, going to be uh, uh, yeah. We're going to but is that a target? No, uh, 2019 we're going to be reaching uh, uh, 200 uh, megawatts, megawatts level. Yes. Okay. And so beyond that, you you do see that as a test case, 200 megawatts, but you want to see whether or not it can do gigawatt yeah. sales. Yeah. So so two. Right. Uh, so the uh, 200 uh, megawatt that is comprised of the first line of 100 megawatt that we have been operating uh, until now uh, for a year and a half. We have accumulated a lot of experience in, in doing that and gained a uh, lot of insights, uh, both in terms of process uh, viability, in terms of large scale uh, production, as well as the uh, 
uh, the uh, supply chain uh, development that would support the going forward with uh, you know bigger scale uh, production. So now the the second line of 100 megawatt is going to prove to ourselves whether we can, we are ready uh, for this uh, jump. And in terms of, and you talk about supply chain, so for equipment suppliers, how important are they to you in supporting your development to larger scales of heterojunction technology? It's uh, very important because CapEx uh, cost is a very important uh, uh, factor in the decision making of uh, whether any company can go into this technology uh, with uh, confidence or with the uh, assurance that the technology is going to wane and become the mainstream uh, technology for the next uh, uh, n years.